Welcome once again to the glorious Peak District. I'm here with my good friend Ray. Say hello, Ray. Hello. I always make him say hello. I have to say that after making him say hello as well. It's become a, uh, a standard now. So just back there was Hassab Station. And you may have guessed it, but this is the Monsell Trail. So we parked down uh, in Bakewell, and tonight's plan, a rough plan, we're gonna obviously walk up the Monsell Trail to Monsell itself, to the Headstone Viaduct. In a moment, we'll be going through the Headstone Tunnel, and we're gonna camp somewhere near the ancient Iron Age hill fort of Finn Cop. So fingers crossed, we've got bivvies and stuff like that in the bags, and uh, it's gonna be a good night. Good sunset, good sunrise would be nice, wouldn't it? Got the GoPro, maybe a bit of time lapse. We'll see how we go. Right, so onwards. Right, this is the Headstone Tunnel, and it was opened to the public anyway in 2011 to make the, uh, the cycle route continuous. It's 533 yards long, and I think it said further down that it was built in 1840 when the Midland Railway constructed the line from, uh, from Matlock to, to Buxton. Right, let's go inside. It really is an awesome place to ride through. Obviously we're walking through it today, but uh, it's just as good. It's nice and cool in here on a, on a warm summer's day. Right, we're just coming out of the tunnel now, onto the Headstone Viaduct. Right, welcome to Wydale. That's the River Wye just down there. And we're heading to Finn Cop, which is just directly in the center of the picture there, on the top of the hill. So we're gonna get awesome views of the viaduct during the evening and morning. There's Ray about to take a pic. Yes. <laughs> Be rude not to, wouldn't it, really? I know, yeah. Just, uh, it's awesome. Not very good on the old phone, though, is it? Well, they're down there, aren't they? We'll just come back off the uh, viaduct as we are heading up towards the Mansell Head Hotel. And the path that we're going to take goes over the top of the tunnel there. Right. Nice bit of a climb here. You have to take the obligatory pictures when you're here. Always an ice cream van. <laughs> this is a nice path along the top of the dale here. Here we've just seen a chinook go over through the trees, went over that way, but uh, sadly we weren't here to video it going along. But what a day. Welcome to Finn Cop, an old Iron Age hill fort. It was believed to have been built between 360 and 420 BC. So, long before the Romans. But uh, in my various searches online about this place, you can just see the ditch there. That's the top of the dale, going to Monsell there. In the distance, you've got the Monsell Head Hotel. But this is a ditch that runs from the cliff edge there around and it basically makes this corner of the dale a bit of a square. Um, in the various bits of research I've done online, it mentions what was a massacre. And I think it was around 2011, a new uh, archaeological dig happened here and they found evidence of a massacre. Women, children, and a young boy, I think, a young man, um, all buried in a pit. And they do believe as well that this place was built in a hurry. Unlike a lot of the hill forts that were built back in that sort of time, they were built as like a show of power. This was actually built as a fortification, they do believe, and in a hurry to defend against an imminent attack. But obviously, if the stories about a massacre are true, then it wasn't built quick enough. Two and a half thousand years of history and we're going to be wild camping just over the hill there 
We're not going to wild camp anywhere near the structure or anything like that because I'm very, very weary um, that I don't want to do any damage or anything like that to any sort of history. Uh, as always, when we wild camp, leave no trace, cause no damage or anything like that, so no one will know we've been here. But still, just for your information, we're going to be away from the fort itself. But what a beautiful evening it's turning out to be. Really looking forward to this. Ray's just sat just over there. Give us a wave, Ray. <laughs> but we're going to enjoy some great views as the sun drops down. And have a good night. A6 down in the valley there. We've just come around the corner. So Finn Cop is here and Monson is just over the rise there. The valley weaves around. Right, so we've found a nice little spot to relax and to throw the bivvies out when the time comes. We'll wait until it's around about, so when the sun's gone down, we'll just put the bivvies down sleep time <laughs> but what a view from a camp it's not bad is it not bad at all right I've got the GoPro set up there hopefully it's not being blown about too much by the wind I tried to stake it into the floor but the ground was quite hard so hopefully it's not blowing around but we'll soon see with the time lapse but look at these views absolutely stunning sat down here. Just cleaning my shoes. Ray's cleaning the shoes out. <laughs> so this is the place where we're going to camp I think. We're going to lay the bivvies down just here. Hopefully you can hear me because of the wind. Uh, it's quite a nice breeze actually. Um, that's why I've got the fleece on because it did drop quite cold actually. Too cold for t-shirts anyway. But it's keeping the flies and things like that at bay. At bay. Um, mesmerised by that view. Absolutely stunning. Welcome back. So just there you've got the Headstone Viaduct. You've got the River Wye meandering beautifully through this Wye Valley here in Monsell Dale. In the centre there you've got the Monsell Head Hotel. A few houses there. As I pan around, just there you've got Cressbrook Dale. At the top of that is Gibbet Rock. I'll flash a picture on screen now. And that is a very interesting place to go and visit. While I'm in that sort of direction, I'll say hello to Tideswell Man as well. Tideswell Man on Twitter, Instagram as well. Over this sort of direction, you've got Lytton Mill. Around the corner there, you've got a grit, uh, sorry, a limestone, not gritstone, a limestone outcrop there. But it really is stunning. The light is turning nicely actually turning, uh, turning good put it that way <laughs> I'm actually speechless we're toasting a bombardier to Rick Mail and we're gonna smoke a cigar in memory of Ray's dad RIP Nigel and Rick
stunning morning, it really was. When the sun came up about 5.45, um, it was amazing. We're still quite tired, so we've had about another hour and a half sleep since then. And we're now commencing the packing away process. eventually went to sleep at about one o'clock last night or we eventually got the babies out at about one. But it was a good night. Amazing views and an amazing sunset. It's what it's all about. A nice little stealth bivy night. We're leaving no trace whatsoever, apart from a bit of flat grass. What a night it was. Right, let's head back over the hill to Ashford in the water and then possibly breakfast at Bakewell. Right, welcome back. Well, I'm a little bit more awake now. Not had coffee yet, so I'm not fully awake, but I dare say I'm about, about 80%. It's now around about half past eight, and we left no trace whatsoever, and we're now heading down towards Ashford in the water, a very picturesque uh, little village with a nice pack horse bridge across the River Wye. But yeah, we're going to head for breakfast at Bakewell. It's got to be done. It would be rude not to. And I've got to get cakes as well. My girlfriend's made me promise that I'll bring cake back. Right, let's keep moving. So here we are, this is the aforementioned pack horse bridge over the River Wye in the beautiful Ashford on the Water. No. Welcome back for the final time. So we've just left Bakewell now, or we're just leaving Bakewell. On the way back up to Bakewell Station, on the Monsell Trail where the car is parked. Just had a great breakfast down there at the Bean and Bag. Nice coffee, good food, highly recommended. Right, so as, I'm drawing to a, as I draw it to a close, I'll say, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting, supporting, and general goodness. Right, I shall speak to you next time. Bye for now.